these are our expectations. Again, and more importantly, we are also uh, making sure that people are exposed to the gospel. Because without the gospel, it becomes a pure philanthropy. Without the gospel. But when uh, we introduce the people to the gospel, opportunity to hear the gospel and make a decision for Christ, we are falling on the footsteps of our Lord because when people came to Him to be healed, it starts with saying, Let your sins be forgiven. In other words, let your spiritual needs be met before the physical needs. So we are here also meeting both needs the physical needs and especially the spiritual needs. Many people have gotten born again in this place since we came. And even if we leave, they have become children of God, and that's most important. So uh, those are our expectations, and I will thank God that He is meeting our expectations. I want to know the burden of your heart. I await you, my beloved. I'm a pharmacist by profession. I trained as a pharmacist, and I have over 30 years of experience. But the greater things I do is in this, mission, this type of mission fields over the places. And this is my greatest joyful period. Anytime I'm not in the field, I don't feel fulfilled because I have joy seeing all these people having their needs met. And so I am happy that we came and God has been very, very magnanimous. Came here for me, for Cheko. They now discover that I have a cataract. On the process, they said that they will do it. Even that I should not fear, I should not panic. Within two minutes, they will do it. And it was so. So I really thank God for this organization. No money, nothing, on a platter of gold. In fact, I'm a lucky one. Okay, something I would have spent thousands of naira for. Lo and behold, it's free. Speak to me.